So, your modem keeps dropping. And the internet will work fine for a day or two, or three days or five days. And every time you call, the internet service provider says everything's fine, everything's working great. Well, one of the problems with this is that your internet service provider is looking at when the modem happens to be working fine. And every now and then the modem will just drop and quit working for a minute. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, show how to, you can get proof um, so that you can show your internet service provider um, that the modem is actually going down instead of it being something with your home network or um, some other problems with your computer. So the first thing we're going to do is open up uh, your browser, or in my case, Internet Explorer. And we're going to type in a website. Um, if you have a regular modem and not a wireless gateway, um, which is a modem and a router combination, so if you just have a modem, the website we're going to type in is going to be 192.168.100.1. This is going to bring you to the diagnostic page for your modem. Now, it didn't ask me for a password because I've already logged in. But if it does ask you for a password, what you would have to do is look up the default password for the diagnostic page for your t particular modem and router. For mine, the username happens to be admin, and the password is password. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the event log. And in the event log, I'm going to look for what's called a T3 timeout. We're actually looking for T3 or T4 timeouts. So right now I'm looking for this entry here, T3. And what that's going to tell us is um, either upload or download problems. If you keep getting T3 and T4 errors or T3 and T4 timeouts, that means that you do indeed have some upload and download problems. And then you can call your internet service provider and let them know that you're getting T3 and T4 errors. And um, you can even print this out and bring that, bring it to them if um, you're having trouble getting them to fix the problem. But it does indeed prove that it is an issue with the signal and not uh, an issue with the equipment yourself, which is what your provider will likely try to convince you. All right, well, if you have any other questions, um, I'm definitely going to go ahead and put together a few more videos um, to help you guys out in the future. Um, so definitely look forward to those. We'll look into some other issues, like um, if you do have a wireless gateway, how you can get that information from them, and um, other information such as that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos.